Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be looking at the Gelid Solutions GX7 CPU cooler. Alright, and this is the heatsink of the CPU cooler. And as you can see, it's a really nice CPU cooler. It's got some design on the top here. And uh, it's actually of a rather normal size for a heatsink with a 120mm fan, which I'll so show you later. Um, you can see that this heatsink has aluminum fins and I think these are aluminum heat pipes, I'm not really sure but I think they are because they're not uh, uh, they don't have the copper color like the base plate which is made out of copper but you have seven heat pipes, that's a lot of heat pipes so seven of those and they all go to the top of the heatsink now together with the heatsink for the CPU cooler they include this 120 millimeter fan as I said before and this fan has a sleeved black cable together with a 4 pin connector and this fan has 4 blue LEDs and the blades are UV reactive and one more thing that you should know about these blades and this is actually very very useful when the blades are full of dust and all you can actually take them off of the frame which is really useful as I said and these are the other specifications of the fan, which are actually all, uh, well, I'll list them all here. And this is, of course, a PWM fan. You can see that the RPM goes from 600 up to 1800 RPM. But the fan doesn't seem that silent according to the specifications, as it can go from 10 decibels up to 26.8 decibels, which can be really loud. Now, when you get the CPU cooler, the heatsink and fan won't be attached to each other when you have unboxed the CPU cooler. So you still have to do that part, and let me quickly show you how you have to do that. So you take the fan, and you kind of position it where it should be. And take these included brackets. So you have to make sure that you have these pins go into these holes here. And of course you have to make sure that it's in the correct uh, position, so it's like this and then make it go behind this edge here and there we go the fan is installed onto the heatsink and now the other things that Gelid Solutions include with the CPU cooler are the backplate for Intel and AMD the uh, brackets for AMD and Intel uh, two more of these fan brackets for an optional second fan for a push-pull configuration and just to give you a heads up I will be testing this cooler with a second fan so in a push-pull configuration what they also include is this case badge some uh, GC2 uh, thermal compound and all the screws, springs, bolts and a few spacers alright and over to the installation and first things first we have to install the back plate on the motherboard uh, and that's the first step that we gotta do so let me do this quickly alright so I put the uh, back plate behind the motherboard I took through the uh, I included screws as well and added the spacers underneath the bolts that I'm screwing in right now and when that's done we can add the thermal paste we can put the brackets on the heatsink and then we can screw the heatsink on top of the CPU. That was a little difficult to actually screw these little bolts on because they're kind of small and you don't, you can't really install them using any tools. You have to use your fingers, and like right here, it's quite difficult because you know my fingers are a bit thick. Well, most people's fingers are like this thick or even thicker, and you know, around these uh, fire chokes, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, moving on. Alright, so what we have to do now is install the bracket on the heatsink. So we're going to do that, and for that we need of course the brackets, and the included very small screws. Alright, and it's installed, and now we can uh, put the thermal paste on the CPU cooler. And for this time, we're going to use the GC Extreme Thermal Paste from Jelly Solutions. They gave me some of this, so that's probably also why. Well, you probably also have to use it then. All 
Alright, and the thermal paste is on and now we have to take off the seal on the bottom of the cooler. Never forget to do this, it's very important. If you don't do it, you'll, your CPU will burn and you don't want that to happen uh, at all. So, let's put it on. And now, we have to take these screws and these springs, put them together and then screw these um, the screws of the back plate here. So let me do that quickly manually first and then we'll tighten them a little bit more. Alright and now that's done and then there's only one more thing to do and that's install the fan which we've done before. So I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna install this fan here and then um, for the testing I have received another fan, a second fan so this one right here, so I have two fans and then I'll do a push-pull configuration test as well Alright, and those were the test results, and as you saw, the cooler actually performs quite very, very, very good. It's actually one of the best coolers we uh, tested, and I think that's probably because of the thermal paste as well, because the thermal paste um, uh, it has been tested and compared to the one we've been using before, and this one always took out uh, the best, uh, or one of the best thermal pastes. Um, so yeah, that was probably a big factor in the results. But the cooler itself also uh, performs really well. And if you include a second fan for a push pull configuration, you can see an overall decrease of about uh, 1 to 3 degrees Celsius uh, at delta temperature. So that is actually pretty good. Now, the heatsink itself is really good. You have seven heat pipes, and a few of them are positioned above the other ones. So we have a double layer, layer heat pipe design, and that helps uh, dissipating the remaining heat. It hasn't been uh, removed by the first layer of heat pipes. Also, the design of the heatsink is really nice. You see the top there, it's actually quite detailed. Um, kind of looks like some kind of engine thing, or I don't know, it looks cool. And uh, yeah, also the fan looks amazing. You know, the four blue LEDs and then the blue blades, they look really nice, and in the dark, it's very, very bright as well. If you like that, it's really cool. And then also the cooler isn't uh, loud. Now it can go loud if perhaps your ambient temperature is high, you've overclocked your CPU quite a lot and uh, at 100% it's probably gonna go uh, spin a lot faster then and then it's probably gonna be quite loud because I've kind of tested the fans uh, just at their full speed and that was quite loud but overall in normal use it's not gonna be loud so it's rather silent. Um, anything else? Yeah, the installation was quite easy. It was nice to see that you have to install the backplate first and then the heatsink so I didn't have to hold my uh, motherboards in too many different or well, weird uh, ways like I had to do in with a few previous uh, CPU coolers. And uh, yeah, for the price of the cooler and the performance and design and everything, I'm gonna have to give this cooler a brilliant award. And I'm gonna hand out a little award to the thermal paste as well because it was quite good and it does help a lot and uh, also because the little brush that is included it's a nice uh, addition if you're buying a CPU cooler so that gets the awesome award now if you want a full list of pros and cons please visit our website where you can find that and leave your comments there as well or here on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe and like of course and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and before I forget thanks to Jellet Solutions for sponsoring us for this review